Well, I just finished watching a uh, little video uh, on Hack 5 and their hack tips regarding uh, substitution of strings um, without using said. Uh, Darren over there uh, basically did an example like this. I forget what he called his variable. I'm just going to call my variable x. I'll say x equals uh, wanna buy a, uh, what did he say? Did he say cow first? No, duck, right? want to buy a duck so we set the variable like that and obviously if we echo out dollar sign x uh, we got want to buy a duck but now if we do squiggly brackets or braces we're going to do um, substitute so forward slash duck forward slash cow and when we hit enter there you can see that we've substituted uh, duck for cow um, but that doesn't change our variable as you can see right there. So uh, I want to take this a little bit further and wanted to see well, what happens if uh, we want to substitute more than just uh, one case of that or one instance of that word. So let's say we reset x to want to buy a duck or two ducks. We'll hit enter there. And actually, I don't know if this is going to, yeah, this should work. Okay. And, uh, so now if we say want to buy a duck or we echo dollar, dollar sign inside braces our variable x forward slash duck and then forward slash cow when we hit enter you can see that it only substituted the first uh, duck in the string. So uh, if we wanted to uh, substitute both which instead you would do a forward slash g which would do all but that doesn't work here because that's the first thing I tried. We're going to do another forward slash. So if you do two forward slashes here, we can hit enter there and you can see, do you want to buy a cow or two cows? So we did substitute both. Now we'll substitute not just two because we had two forward slashes. It will substitute all in that line. So uh, if we reset X, I'm just going to throw another word duck over here. So reset X and we do it now. You can see the double forward slash there. We'll substitute every instance of ducks or duck with cow. Uh, so can we substitute lines within a file to, uh, to, to, without using said? Well, in this case, uh, let's create ourselves a little uh, text file here. And uh, we'll call it mytext.txt. And I'll just type in some random stuff. This is a test, another test testing this out okay so my first thought was to do this I'll say x equals dollar sign parentheses which is a command substitute so whatever command we put in here the output of that will uh, go into x and I'll say cat my text dot text and now if we echo dollar sign x you can see we get the output of that file but it doesn't recognize new lines when you do it this way and we can still subdo our substitution here. I'll say uh, test. We'll just substitute test with cow. So there you go. But once again, that's all on one line. So how can we actually do this without losing our formatting of uh, our new lines? Well, we'll just use a while loop. We'll say cat. And we will cat out my file. And we'll pipe it into while read line. Line is our variable there. So we're going to read through each line of the file mytext.txt and we're going to do something with it. And in this case, we'll just do what we were doing earlier. Dollar sign, uh, echo, dollar sign. Uh, our variable in this case is line, which we created right here. And we'll say forward slash forward slash test forward slash cow. And then we'll say done. So we'll loop through each line of this file and put the... Uh, the output on the screen, each line by itself. So there we go. We have, this is a cow, another cow, cowing this out. <laughs> and of course, if you wanted to, you could always redirect that uh, into a new file. We'll just say new.txt. And now we can cat out new.txt. And you can see right there, it has replaced that. Although our original file has not been changed. So. Uh, I just saw that on uh, the Hack 5 hack tip and I um, thought it was interesting because I, I didn't even think about doing this. I've always just used said or just
just a single character I use TR. Um, so this is definitely uh, neat if you don't have set, if you're on a very stripped down system, and but you have bash running, uh, you should still be able to do this. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with, a, Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.